the sad thing is, is I'm I'm a binge watcher. Are you? Yeah. So I. That's the, the only this, way anybody watches. This is the now. worst part of it is I don't even know what night you guys are on. When I, it shows up in the TiVo, I start. Watching. I still have to ask sometimes. Isn't that like sad? when they ask me to tweet? I'm like, what time are we on? Yeah, yeah. Like so, I just I don't know. So how's it how's it being the proud daddy of a of a of a child in the series? Of a, of a small demon child. Demon child. Um, it's fine. I, I uh, you know, it's a very per- peculiar dynamic. I mean, can you ever have a more sort of, <laughs> you know, dysfunctional family family unit than these three? What's What's amazing about your character is, is for a while there we thought that you were like the bad guy, and then you're kind of like fluctuating. Yeah, between the those two. are the best characters. Those are always my favorite characters, and uh, I've had a, you know I've had an opportunity to play a couple of characters like that in the past, but I think it's you know. Um, Morally ambiguous is the most interesting thing to do, you know, interesting thing to play. And I think uh, we even see it now in films, like the superheroes are no longer that super. They're kind of doing a lot of questionable things. Well, it's a little bit more human. Yeah, it's more real. We're we're fallible. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming out. I I saw the rest of your crew out there. They took off on you. They actually stood over there and they turned around. They were watching I'm a man of the people, (laughs) John. I'm a man of the people. And then they like ditched you. I give and I give. So thank you so much for coming out and talking to the Good to meet you, man. You have a good